be here. Now, right now, as you sit here looking at me, news is happening all over the world. And we are aware of this. It's not like we ignore it. So what we've done is we've hired somebody to cover all that news. And here now with a report is JKL Action News reporter Pablo Suzuki. Pablo? Go for Pablo. There's breaking news. I'm on it. came from found out today that uh, lizards communicate by doing push-ups and we are live we are live very disturbing news out of the Chelsea district of New York City uh, studio 8c the Emerald live show some unbelievable news apparently Emerald live uh, is reeling at this hour after s accidentally serving tainted baby spinach to his audience. Your reaction? Well, with all the news that's going on, why would anybody be feeding spinach to a baby today anyway? Uh, I'm being told it's, it was not served to a baby, rather his entire studio audience. And at this hour, uh, several uh, members of the studio audience, I'm hearing 45 individuals are violently ill from being served a combination of tainted baby spinach and baby clams. Your reaction? My reaction is, this is a restaurant I won't be going to. Well, again, ma'am, you're, you're not really paying attention. This is a studio audience. <laughs> and we are live. We are getting reactions to the ongoing strife uh, emanating from the Vatican City. As you know, Pope Benedict made some disparaging remarks about the Muslim faith. Your reaction? I was appalled. Tell me why. Uh, he didn't say he was sorry. He just tried to explain it Hold away. Hold on one first. second. Hold on one second. It's time for today's answer to the Pablo Pop Quiz. The question was, what is the best way to prevent potentially deadly tick bites? Tube socks. <laughs> you were saying. And we are live. We are uh, getting reactions to the unbelievably stirring story. Just moments ago, Harry Hamlin, one of the contestants in this year's Dancing with the Stars, viciously attacked frontrunner Mario Lopez. Mr. Hamlin threw a, uh, I believe it was a venti-sized pumpkin latte on the face of one Mario Lopez. Uh, Mario Lopez has been medevaced to uh, Spanish Person Hospital in San Antonio, Texas. Your reaction? That's very crucial. A coffee thrown at a person is very cruel. I wouldn't do that to a person just for little things like that. Tell me why. Because you can, what if it burns the skin and it hurts the other person? It's all going to be all your fault. That is some tremendous insight. So you're saying there should be a cooling off period between the time a celebrity purchases and consumes a hot coffee. Exactly. Almost like buying, uh, purchasing a gun or other firearm. Your turn to speak. And we're live. We're getting reactions. Some very disturbing news out of the Chattanooga metropolitan area. Uh, singer Winona Judd has been found guilty on all charges. Your reaction? Uh, all charges of what? Uh, well, as you know, uh, two weeks ago, uh, she was arrested after having a falling out with her record producer, Chi Chi Spofford. Uh, she then got into her H3 Hummer and uh, rammed into the log ride at Dollywood. Uh, I'm also being told that uh, in her uh, rage, she came home and unfortunately uh, bludgeoned her dog Razzles to death with uh, a Roomba, with a Roomba. Well, my reaction, and thank you, I do remember it now, is I hope she gets the help that I think she's been needing. And I wish her well. She's a talent, but I think she needs a lot of support and help. That there is no distinction there in terms of justice between celebrities and not. Especially what she did to her dog. I hope she gets love to play up the frenzy of help. I hope she gets a support system, and I hope that justice will prevail. You're a real f know it all, aren't you? <laughs> we are live. We're getting reactions to this very tragic news uh, from Malibu, California. Uh, Paris Hilton. Uh, who is shooting a video for her single, Lick My Sex, has been uh, hospitalized, apparently in a coma. Your reaction? Oh my God, I just saw her a few days ago at the Silver Spoon coffee shop. She was eating breakfast there. Why would she be in a coma? Is she all right? Did she fall? 
Uh, I'm being told that she is in a coma yeah. at Jewish Hospital in uh, Malibu, okay. uh, just north of Zuma Beach. Um, there is no Jewish Hospital in Malibu, north of Zuma Beach. It was, goodbye. <laughs> well, there it is. Another extremely newsy day. Live from the farmer's market, I'm Pablo Suzuki. Keep it in your pants, America. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo. We'll be right back with Felicity Hudson.